question. So, if you guys remember, the first step we do is, I don't want anything in your hand except your pen. The first step we do is to find the variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. So when we look up here, Trevor, and I ask Vincent, what is the only variable that has a 1 or a negative 1 as a coefficient? The x in the first equation, right? So that's the equation you solve for. So step one. Step one. You rewrite the first equation and you solve for the variable that's one. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Now, remember, guys, you can't subtract 4 minus 2y. They're not like terms. So therefore, you can write, rewrite it, though. I, I always like to rewrite it. x equals negative 2y plus 4. You don't have to, but it's good practice. So now we know the value of x. The value of x is equal to negative 2y plus 4. So we're going to plug in this value in for x into the other equation. Since I solve for x on the first equation, I plug in its value into the second equation. And again, the reason why I do that is because I want to solve for y. And what happens is, when I plug it in, do we have an x anymore? No, we just have a y. And you guys learned how to solve equations like this in Algebra 1, right? Yes, Anya? Yeah. But now it's even more importantly, do you remember last time we put the parentheses? And you're like, why are you putting parentheses on there? I said, whenever you substitute in, always put parentheses in there because sometimes you're, gonna, you're not going to just have, um, sometimes you're going to have a number being multiplied by your input. So you have to make sure you put parentheses on there to remind yourself to apply distributive property when you solve. So 2 times negative 2y is a negative 4y. 2 times 4 is positive 8 minus 3y equals 1. Now, in solving equations like this, we have two y's. We have two y's. So the only way to get them together is to combine them. So we rewrite this. So negative 4y minus 3y plus 8 equals 1. Negative 4y minus 3y is negative 7y plus 8 equals 1. Subtract 8. Negative 7y equals negative 7. Divide by negative 7 on both sides. y equals 1. So now, once we know the value of y, we go back to our original equation and say, all right, if I know the value of y, I can plug that in here and find the value of x. So therefore, solution is going to be x equals 2, y equals 1. Yep. Actually, never mind. I got two more things we've got to go over. <laughs>